Hey guys. Uh, it feels weird. Like I'm talking, but my ear feels clogged. That bus trip took me out. Like I do not feel good. I should have brought my motion sickness um, medicine, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna be okay. I've done enough enough bus trips in Korea to not need it. <sighs> That was a very stupid decision. So I just made it to the hotel. Highly recommend this hotel, just got in. But they offer breakfast, which from the pictures look good, and I'm gonna try it tomorrow morning. Not only that though, but it's right next to the bus station. Um, oh, and I didn't even tell you guys where I am. <laughs> I am in Gyeongju. South Korea. Known as the Museum Without Walls, the entire city of Gyeongju is like a museum with ubiquitous historical sites and tourist destinations. In Gyeongju, you will find a lot of Shila culture leading to Confucian culture of the later Joseon dynasty and tourist sites where the cultural heritage of the Shila kingdom is reinterpreted into a modern context. In case you are wondering what the Shila dynasty is, it is one of the three kingdoms of ancient Korea and one that in 1668 unified Korea under the unified Shila dynasty. In this video, you'll follow me along seeing what tourist sites I go to and it's definitely, definitely worth the travel. Definitely, I love Gyeongju. Um, there's plenty of things to do historically here, um, plenty of things to see that are historical here. Um, I'm really excited. I'm hungry, but like I'm sick, but then I'm hungry. Like, I don't know. I don't feel really good. It's only two o'clock, so I have a lot of the day. I actually left my um, area at 1030 and got here around two. So I have a lot of time. Um, Oh, my ear is like so clogged, y'all. And this lighting is amazing. Okay, the funny thing about Korea, side note, you can have a nice hotel, um, you pay good money for the hotel, and all you see is love motels outside. It's, okay. This says it's a hotel. But then when you scroll up, it says motel. My co-teacher told me if you see motel once associated with the hotel, it's nine times out of 10 a motel. So I made sure this place was not a motel. I accidentally stayed at a motel, I believe once in Korea, maybe twice. And you could feel that it was a motel. <laughs> Um, that was in Daejeon. I stayed at a motel and I was just like, ooh. But this place is actually really nice. Uh, really nice. Let me show you guys. So this is the bed. Got the little pillows on the side. I got the deluxe double, I think this is called. I'm doing a horrible job of showing you this room. <laughs> So yeah, I got a deluxe double. Um, ooh, well oh, that's nice, this closes. It's a little stuffy in here, so I probably need to um, turn the air conditioning on. Um, so you open this back up and then mocha gold mild, oh mild, okay. These coffees are good. I like Maxim and uh, Canoe. <laughs> Canoe. Um, and then I never used this before. You know what? I'm not gonna try today. And then here's the bathroom. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Ooh. Okay, another thing. <laughs> when you go into Korean bathrooms, nine times out of ten, there's gonna be a drop. A significant change in the uh, what is this called? Whatever, you get the point. 
the giant bathtub. It looks really good. I've been in hotels where the bathtub looks like, ooh, just a hot mess. It, it was only in Dejan. <laughs> ooh, okay, this is nice. And I, I doubt you wanna look at the specs of a toilet, but it has a bidet feature, so that's cool. So I am going to look up some stuff to do, um, well I already kind of, on the bus right here, I kind of already know exactly where I'm going, but um, just to reevaluate, do I want to have this type of food for dinner, because I was looking at a burger place, but I might do Italian food, I don't know, but, and then I gotta figure out if I'm gonna get a taxi or not, I probably should, right? Uh, I'm so sick in, of driving in cars and my ear is clogged. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Do y'all see that Burger King over there? That is really funny. <laughs> Forest information, that's cool. They call this the Golden City. Ooh, Starbucks is right beside it. Y'all, I looked at my phone before I left and it was like, it's raining outside. I was like, no it ain't. It ain't raining. I just came from outside. It's raining, y'all. It's legit raining. But that is not going to stop my day, even though it says it's also going to be thunderstorming. <laughs> I am still going to do what I came here to do. And um, actually, it said that it was going to be raining before I had left my um, apartment. And I just said, you know what? It is what it is. So I kind of came here knowing it could be a possibility. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So we are here at the park. It costs $3 to enter. Um, this is the Gyeongju Daedong 1. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Gyeongju Daedong, Daedong 1. And if we just go throughout the whole park, we'll see a bunch of those landmarks. So, yeah, let's get to walking. You can kind of already see um, this landmark right here, I think, is the tomb, I think. <laughs> and then this is really pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I am so so high, like legit sweating. So our first stop is Chan Machong Tomb, which means Heavenly Horse Tomb. And it was actually known as tomb number 155. The tomb was constructed in the style of the Sheila and is believed to date from the 5th century, but possibly as late as the 6th century. The tomb was constructed for an unknown Sheila king. And we will go inside and I will talk some more about what we see. <laughs> Alright, so inside the tomb, we're looking at a wooden chamber right now with burial goods over a mound of stone and earth which was raised. Because the structure was hard for grave robbers to break into, precious artifacts from the Sheila era remained in the tomb for over thousands of years. You can see a wooden chamber tomb with a stone mound inside the Chun Machong tomb while excavated artifacts are exhibited around the tomb in each corner so we're about to walk throughout the tomb right now and look at each of those artifacts right here i'm actually looking at how jewelry was made so it's pretty cool um i'm going to show a little bit of this and then show you some of the artifacts around the tomb
Y'all, I'm dying out here. Alright guys, so we are headed to What the Burger. Yes, you heard me right. What the Burger. <laughs> um, I saw this place and I was like, I really want to try it, so we're going here. <laughs> This is really good. Ooh, there it is. We learned about this in school. Well, I learned about it. I don't know if the kids <laughs> really know about this, but we had English lessons centered around it. So, it's done raining but I'm in something that looks like the Hanok village <laughs> so I'll show you guys what this looks like it gives me Hanok village vibes if only I would have brought my quarters I'm so mad oh they have like a dollar uh, machine but I should have just bought all the quarters up It tastes like cake, but lighter. I don't know. But I'm about to head back to my hotel. Hey guys, so I am back from today's fun adventure. That was today. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to go to the Gyeongju Expo. And they have like a really cool building. And it costs, from what I saw on Naver, $12 to get in. I'm gonna do that. Um, hopefully that opens early. Um, I'll probably eat breakfast here at the hotel I'm at. Definitely hands down stay at this hotel if you plan to stay in Gyeongju. Um, it's right next to the bus terminal. Perfect. I love an accommodation that's like super close to the main attractions. Um, I'll pay the price. It's worth it to me. And actually, I don't think this was a bad price. Um, definitely do that. Uh, yeah. So stick with me guys and I'll see you in the next scene okay bye hey guys so i'm actually going to make part two of my gyeongju trip because this video would be like well into 30 minutes long so part two is coming up next thank you guys for watching part one of my vacation to gyeongju um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i never say that but <laughs> go ahead it's free why not i mean <laughs> why not <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one be sure to check out part two bye